Hello, my wonderful makers. I'm coming to you today to kind of explain some of these newer knitting or crochet classes that have shown up on our fall calendar. So first things first is we have a couple new teachers. I invited um, a friend of mine, Leslie Owen, who is also the sister of Mindy Owen, who used to own the shop, A Yarnless Raveled in San Ramon. Leslie worked for Mindy and she would teach classes there. And then when that shop closed down, Leslie had has been working and teaching at Arania Craft Studio in Hayward. I've asked her to come over and teach a couple classes. One is a crochet class and one is a class on blocking. And that's the first class I wanna talk about, okay? The class is called Block Like a Pro, Elevate Your Blocking Techniques. Now, why am I, why do we have a blocking class? Well, one, blocking can be kind of mysterious and um, there's lots of rules of, there's lots of different thoughts on how to do blocking. She's gonna focus on a technique that she's adopted over the years and how she blocks, wet blocks, her garments and her pieces, like shawls and sweaters and things like that. Now, this is a demonstration class, so you won't be blocking along with her in the class, but tons of information. She does such a better job at blocking than I do, and she actually does blocking for other people. People will pay her to block their garments and their shawls because she's fantastic at it. So I've asked her to come and teach this class. It's a one-day workshop. And it's coming up at the end of this month on September 21st from 12.30 to 2.30. So it's two hours and it's going to have tons of information. So you'd want to bring your notepad and a pencil or pen. And she's going to demonstrate as well as communicate all her tips and tricks. Have fantastic results from your wet blocking. She's also going to be teaching a crochet class using a book that we carry in the shop on granny squares. She's going to do It's Not Square to Make Granny Squares class. Now, this class is a one-time class, meaning you only meet once, which is very easy. So this class also meets on September 21st, but it's from 10 to noon. This is a one-session class, two hours. You're going to learn the basics of making granny squares. She also has a second date if the 21st doesn't work for you. It'll be on November 2nd from 10 to noon. And then I've also asked a friend of mine named Jessica, and she's going to come and teach a class on a pattern that she designed, which is a con really cute convertible mitten class, basically. So fingerless mitts, but that have the ability to cover completely like a mitten. And then there's, if you don't want the mitten cover on, you flip it back and there's a cute little button. And so she's designed this cute pattern, lots of fun using DK weight yarn. So a very quick knit. It's a two part class. It's not on the calendar just yet. It's called Franken Mitts, and but it will be up soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that. It should, I believe, the class is either in the end of October, in November. Hence the Franken Mitts. If you've never knit a pair of mittens or fingerless mitts. This is your great. This is a fantastic way to do it because you're gonna learn how to do basically both. You're gonna learn the shaping for both. And then the last new class to the lineup at In Between Stitches for knitting and crochet classes is going to be. A sticking class. So what? Sticking? Huh? What is that? Sticking is when you cut your knitting. So you knit in the round, right? Like maybe you're knitting a sweater and you're knitting it in the round and then you cut it up the center to make it into a cardigan. Now, some people say, why don't you just knit it flat? Well, a, this is a really popular technique when we're doing color work because nobody really likes to, I mean, not nobody, but a lot of people find it so much faster to knit color work or stranded knitting in the round so they don't have to purl with two colors or more at the same time. So <clears throat> that's one way to do it. But also, if you do not like to purl, period, like a lot of people don't like knitting cardigans because they have to purl a whole row. Well, you don't have to, you can just knit everything and then when it's time to cut your knitting, you cut it up the center. Now there are obviously things that we need to do <clears throat> to create a steak that actually is secure. And in this class, and I'll be teaching this class, um, you're gonna learn three different ways to reinforce your steak and prepare for it. You're gonna cut your steaks 
And you're also going to learn three techniques on how to finish your steaks to make them look pretty, um, maybe. And adding buttonholes and attaching buttons, adding ribbon to be a beautiful inside part of your cardigan. So when you flip open your cardigan, there's this gorgeous ribbon. Like They look super professional, great way um, to finish off garments. And even if you just knit something even flat, finishing with a ribbon is also beautiful as well. So there will be some pre-class knitting involved. Since we're doing three steaks, we will not be knitting three sweaters, okay? <laughs> there wouldn't be no time for that. We're going to work on knitting some little cup cozies that are very small and short, and then we can get the feeling of cutting and doing it and working the reinforcement and also adding the um, decorative edges and things that we need to do. But um, there will be some pre-class homework. So if you're going, if you're interested in this class, I would recommend that you sign up as soon as possible so you can get started on knitting some of your pre-class homework. So Steak Savvy is three sessions long. So we will meet three times um, from, and this is an evening class, October 15th, 29th, and November 12th, 6 to 8 p.m. The one requirement for this class is that you already know how to knit stranded color work. So if you took my color work hat class, um, you're ready to go knitting a cute, some cute little cup cozies. Not only are great gifts, but also um, they're very quick and easy. And so you'll be ready. If you have not knit stranded color work before, I would recommend you take my color work hat class the next time it comes around so that you can learn the sticking technique. There's one other class that I wanted to mention. It doesn't, it only comes around maybe once every other year. And that would be the 14 color Woolstock Light Shawl Workshop. Now, what is the point of this course? The point of this course is not just to knit this gorgeous shawl. And by the way, there is a sample in the shop. So you can see, see how big it is, see what it looks like in person. But the main point of you taking this class, there's actually two, but the main, main point is that if you have not done mosaic knitting or what we would call slip stitch knitting with multiple colors, then let this be the course that helps teach you. You will get it down. You will be a master by the end of this shawl. It is quite a bit of knitting, but it's constantly changing. The colors are changing. It's so much fun. But the other really cool thing about this shawl is that it has an applied border on the bottom. And if you have not knit an applied border, and you would know if you have, because you, when we're working on most knitting, we're knitting horizontally, right? But when it comes to the applied border, and if you look in the picture, that whole green section, you're actually knitting it this way, vertical. So we work our way across the other direction, and we, we finish with an applied border. We don't start, we finish with it. So if you've never knit an applied border before, this is also a great way to learn that technique. So that class is on November 13th, and it's from 6 to 8 p.m. It's only one session because what we'll do is we'll get you started on, you'll learn the three main motifs that you use for the mosaic knitting. You'll practice them and you'll learn them in the class. And then you'll go home and you'll have access to my online platform where I'm going to have all the rest of the video tutorials that you need to complete your shawl. So I'll work, I'll work our way through it. I'll go from step by step regarding the applied border, especially because that's such a new technique. But all of the things that you were taught in the workshop, as well as the things that will come along your way in the shawl, you will have video tutorials to complete it. And uh, I'm sure you're going to love it because it's such a beautiful work of art, including I do a video on blocking that shawl. So those are some of the new classes that are coming out. If you are interested in learning more about any of the other classes that are listed on the website for knitting and crochet, I am going to have a link to the courses below here and it'll take you to a video I did previously that explains the course. All right, well, happy knitting and crochet, happy making. I hope this warm weather isn't getting to you. Um, sit in the air conditioning, pull out some lightweight yarns, and and create. <laughs>